This is the new Smart Voltmeter from Killer RC. We packed some pretty cool features into this little voltmeter. It uh, tells you the voltage of six different kinds of batteries and has several different display modes. I'll show you how those work here in a little bit. Uh, as far as the size of this, it's about a half inch wide by about two and three quarter inches long. And it should be pretty easy to mount uh, on the battery box or uh, a lot of different places on most RC cars. You can uh, put a dab of uh, shoe goo or some double sided sticky tape or Velcro or whatever on the back side and, uh, and stick it down. Uh, I prefer to use uh, clear shoe goo. Um, it sticks really good and, uh, and you can remove it uh, if you have to. Now this voltmeter um, has a little uh, Y splitter here that we built in so that uh, you wouldn't have to use a Y splitter and clutter up your battery box. So all you have to do is plug this into any channel on your radio receiver and then you can plug your servo in uh, right here and that's all you got to do as far as hooking it up. Here I've got the Killer RC smart voltmeter glued down to a piece of carbon fiber and you can see um, we've got a little yellow button here and um, I've got big fingers so uh, I'm going to use this little pointer to uh, uh, help me press the button and keep my fingers out of the uh, out of the camera but um, on the label you can see uh, the different batteries that the voltmeter works with it works with six different kinds of batteries there's two cell life three cell life two cell lipo three cell lipo four cell nickel metal hydride and five cell nickel metal hydride and when uh, we first power it up uh, it's going to light up with five green LEDs, meaning that it's in five cell nickel metal hydride mode, which is a six volt battery pack like uh, like a lot of uh, nitros and gas RCs run on. So I'm going to take my battery pack here and plug it in. And there we have five cell nickel metal hydride, two cell life, three cell life. 2 cell lipo, 3 cell lipo, 4 cell nickel metal hydride, and we're back to 5 cell nickel metal hydride. I'm going to leave it alone, and now it goes into full display mode. Press the button, and now it changes to a scrolling mode, um, where the LED just goes back and forth. I'm going to turn the lights out. Now we've got one more kind of display mode. I call this the battery conservation mode. These, um, the center two LEDs only flash every uh, four or five seconds. This is using very little battery power um, so that you get the most run time out of your battery. It's only using a couple milliamps to do this and uh, this is using hardly any battery power. Just every few seconds it'll flash green, um, amber, or red. As the battery gets lower, the, um, these two would change to uh, an orange color. And then as the battery gets really low, it would change to red. And finally, um, the red LEDs would start flashing. So let's go back to the uh, regular display mode. There we've got a full charge. And now I'm going to hook up a, uh, a variable power supply so that I can... Uh, turn down the voltage and uh, show you what the LEDs do when the battery drops. Now I'm going to turn the uh, power supply on and uh, we're going to set it for 6 volts or uh, about 6 6.2 volts. It's showing us that it was in 5 cell uh, nickel monohydride mode. <clears throat> now we're getting all 6 LEDs which means the battery would be fully charged. Now I'll drop the voltage a little bit and you can watch what the voltmeter does. Okay, it drops down to four green ones. Then the four turn amber. Then it drops down to two amber. And then red as the voltage gets even lower. 
and then as we get down to critical low voltage the uh, six LEDs flash back and forth like that and that would be where you would definitely want to stop using the battery pack and charge it up. Now let's put the voltage back up and let's try one of the other display modes. Here we are in the scrolling mode. You can see the LED scrolling pretty fast. As the voltage drops, the LED slows down a little bit. Then it turns to amber and gets even slower. And eventually it turns red and gets even slower. And then finally the red lights flash back and forth telling you it's time to stop using the battery pack and charge it. We turn the voltage back up and let's check out the other display mode battery conservation mode. It's showing us green so the battery's good. We're going to drop it a little bit. Oh, dropped it too much. There it's uh, flashing amber. We're at about uh, 5 volts and it's uh, flashing amber. That means our battery's about about half dead. Now I'm going to drop it down to about 4 volts and um, it's flashing uh, red telling us that it's time to stop using the battery pack. Another cool feature that we built into the KillerRC Smart Voltmeter is the ability to detect and record radio glitches. And this is uh, nice information to know to see if you're having a radio problem uh, that you need to get fixed or um, adjusted. So during normal operation not only does the voltmeter uh, display voltage but it's also watching your radio signal. So I'm going to plug it into a, a channel here on my HPI uh, this FM receiver that, uh, that doesn't have a fail safe uh, built into that channel. We can just go with channel 3. So it's showing us um, that the voltmeter was in 5 cell nickel metal hydride mode where we left it. Now we've got a full uh, full battery pack. If we wanted to we could change to a different display mode but we'll uh, we'll go back to this mode full display mode so I'm going to create some fake radio glitches um, I'm going to turn the transmitter uh, on and off let's say four times one two three four Okay, now if I wanted to see how many radio glitches it detected during the last run, I would just turn my battery power off, <clears throat> hold down the power button as I turn the power back on. And it's flashing four amber LEDs, which means it detected the four radio glitches that I created earlier. And then to reset it, you just turn the power off and back on again. Now if we had zero radio glitches, um, I, I'm just going to leave the radio on so that we don't have any glitches. And let's try it again. I'll show you what the full meter does when you have zero glitches. It just scrolls left to right. Constant um, uh, amber LEDs. That lets you know you had zero glitches and you're in good shape. 